Yeah, they, 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 they hate when you elevate. The second up losses, I'm handing them out. Yeah, I had to go delegate. It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment. I swear I could levitate. They never believed that I would really fly. I had to go demonstrate. I had to set them straight. They hate when you elevate. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back at it, back at it, back at it again. It's your boy Rain. This is the ATP Combat uh, Media Show. Uh, thank you for uh, showing up to the little snippet. Thought I'd come in with some breaking news. If you haven't heard already, Devin Haney has gone ahead and vacated, um, officially vacated, or put in that he's vacating um, his uh, undisputed titles at the uh, lightweight, 135 pound weight class. Um, let's 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 give it up for Devin Haney for doing the right thing, doing the honorable thing, and not BSing. Finally, not BSing. I mean. Did I just say finally? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. That would that would go to say that he's been BSing. And I don't know that he's been BS. <laughs> I don't know that he's been BSing. Um But at the end of the day, regardless, an honorable thing to do. You know you're not coming back to the weight class. You've made up your mind. Let the belts go and allow the division to continue to move on. Don't hold the division hostage, and we can always respect that. So what does that mean now that we look at the um now that we look at the uh lightweight division with belts everywhere now right we've got uh oh we'll, we'll, we'll go through it let's let's go through it let's go through it and let's see what it means for uh the, the lightweight division at this point so being that uh Devin Haney was officially what well, we already know as far as the WBC title is concerned uh Shakur Stevens took care of that um actually taking one of those vacated belts or when he was in recession, right? Devin Haney was a, a champion in recess. So ultimately uh, Shakur Stevens um, took that when he won his fight with De Los Santos. So as I stated earlier in an older video, even though St Shakur Stevens did uh, stink up the building with that, um, with that performance, what he did do officially was he was able to secure one of those belts. In my opinion, probably the most decorated belt, that WBC belt, right? So he's put himself right in the conversation and actually he's become uh, um, one of the, if not the big dog, one of the big dogs. And I mean, obviously we all know about Javante Tank Davis's uh, rule, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Being the face of boxing and, and the cash cow, he's always going to hold that. But as far as um, decorated accolades, accomplishments are concerned, uh, Shakur Stevens seems to be the number one guy right now in uh, the lightweight division. Now we go down to the WBA, the WBA title, and that's Javante Tank Davis at that point. So his actual, he was holding one of the um, WBA lightweight straps. So um, more than likely what's going to happen is they're going to elevate him to full champion. And what's going to be funny about that is I think for the first time, well, not the first time, but the first time in a long time, um, he's going to, Javante might have some mandatories that he got to handle. You know what I mean? So we'll see how that looks. Um, well, we'll 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 see we'll see what that looks for, for for Javante now that he actually has a title, um, and that he'll have mandatories and he'll have responsibilities to the WBA, and we'll see how he deals with that. Hopefully, he doesn't just throw the belt away in the trash can and tell him to take it, because <laughs> you know he makes so much money without those belts. Not not defending the belt, it seems sometimes that he doesn't even have any plans on ever getting the belt. But um, and then we got the IBF. So the IBM has no interim or secondary champion. So it becomes um, fully vacant now and talks are already underway about um, Lomachenko and Cambosis. Actually, their fight that's coming up in April, I guess they're going to be putting that title on the line as well at that point. So that seems to be where the conversation is going right now. But, you know, until it's set in stone, what do we know? And then we have the WBO. So. Um, the WBO has a couple of options that's actually in the air, the way they're going to handle that. Um, but it is a, it is going to be, a, um, a vacated title. So, um, Lomachenko is the current number one contender over there, but, um, being that he's going to be fighting Combosis and, um, you know, ultimately fighting for that IBF, I don't know if they'll hold it. They'll probably go next in line. Um, and Isak Cruz has an has an opportunity as well to 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 get in that conversation, but he's also 
kind of in the air anticipating some kind of response or coordinate some kind of rematch with Javante Tank Davis. And after all, he is a cash cow. So I'm sure a fight with Javante Tank Davis would hold precedence over any um, any energy towards getting a belt right now. So, but um, it would be him. And if not him, then we also have William Zapata. Who can um who can come and fight for that? Um, maybe fight like an Angel um Fierro or there's a Ukrainian guy too. I can't remember his name, but um, you know there could be a fight there for, for that title. But ultimately, the division becomes way more interesting now, right? Whenever we got belts in the conversations and um unifications. You know what I'm saying? In the conversation and potential undisputed aspirations become f- flamed up, right? Like everybody becomes motivated and excited because now they see an end game. And it's not just about fighting for money because money is always, you know, I always say they're prize fighters first, first at the end of the day. First and foremost, they are prize fighters. But these belts start to tap into the legacy, the ambition, um, the the history making the reason why a lot of these fighters got into boxing was to um, ultimately get these belts. And so, so they could be in a conversation with the greats and belts are, are, are one of the ways to get into the hall of fame. If not the main ways, you know, one of the main ways getting these belts are important, you know, when we're talking about legacy. So that opens up a whole new conversation and just makes the lightweight division that much more interesting. Right. And you know, the same thing's going to happen when Terrence Crawford makes a decision as to whether or not he's going to defend the belt he has, or whether or not he's going to move up officially and vacate his belt. So well, the welterweight division will get a life of its own at that point. We'll start to see way more things moving around. And as fans, we win when that happens guys. So, um, that's why you gotta, you always gotta congratulate and shake the hands of a Devin Haney. Um, somebody who, who's able to just, you know, be honest with themselves first, right? They're going to be honest with themselves about what they want to do, and then it's they're not going to be petty. They're going to be honest with the fans. They're going to be honest with the division. They're going to be honest with the sanctioning bodies, and they're going to do what's right. So we got to give Devin Haney respect for that. You know, he's going into his fight December 9th with ambitions of getting that WBC uh, junior welterweight title around his waist, and then he's even talking about aspirations of going further into the um, welterweight division, calling out people like Keith Thurman and things of that nature. So he's, he has no, 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 no plans of coming down to 135. Um, things become interesting now as well as far as the Javante Tank Davis, um, Devin Haney um, conversation goes, right? Because Devin Haney's trying to coordinate fights with Javante. Javante's kind of... Um, hinted towards laying stipulations that involved Devin Haney coming down to 135 to fight him. And when Devin Haney making a move like this, he's making a very clear message right now that I am not fighting at 135. I'm not coming back down in weight. So this fight is either going to be a catch weight or more than likely going to be up at 140. Um, being that Javante's already fought at 140 fighting Mario Barrios and was successful there, there's not too many excuses as to why not why he wouldn't fight at that weight outside of maybe – you know, maybe a weight issue. Maybe he doesn't want, maybe he might consider the 140, but, you know, maybe with rehydration clauses and all that type of stuff. But we'll leave that up to them, to the fighters to negotiate and figure out um, what's the best um, route for for either of them to, to meet each other in um, in that squared circle. As I stated in other videos, there will be concessions. I know people want to want to make this a one-sided conversation because one of these guys are the cash cow and the other guy's just... You know, guy who has belts and stuff, but trust me, once De- uh, Javante decides that this is a fight he wants and he needs for his legacy, once a legacy becomes part of the conversation, once he starts talking like that, concessions are going to be made because it's not going to be money anymore at that point. Just take my word for it. Just take my word for it. But for now, that's what's going on. Devin Haney has is is no longer undisputed. He's vacating the belts. Um, the 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 pe- the the vision is opened up now. Um, and we're going to see a lot more, in my opinion, we're going to see a, a way more exciting 135 pound division. It's going to be very competitive with, because 140 right now to me is the hottest, um, division, um, weight class in the, in boxing right now. But 135 is going to become, is coming up right behind them. Very interesting with this move that Devin did, but you guys let me know what you think. Uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe, share, tell me what you think. Uh, the news just came out. So maybe Come up with some matchmaking. Tell me what you think about about the fights that are going to be at 135 right now. And, um, you know, what are the best matches going to be? And what do we have to look forward to? Um, it's your boy, Rain. This is ATP Combat Media. I want to thank you guys for showing out with me. And we will follow up with each other a little later, right? Maybe tomorrow. Who knows, right? You guys have a good one. All right. 
We out.